Sarah Paradise, Pick and Paradise, and it's Tuesday tip of the day. So uh, I think this is number eight or number nine. I think it's number nine, ninth episode. And your tip for Tuesday today is going to be never pick the same lock twice. So uh, especially beginners, they'll do this. They'll make this mistake. They'll get one lock. And uh, I don't know why I want to actually grab a lock, but um, they'll, they'll get one lock, you know, say like a, an Abus 5550, because that's what I'm holding. Uh, they'll grab that, and then they'll just pick it, and they'll pick it, and they'll pick it, and they'll pick it, and they'll pick it. Uh, and they're like, man, I'm learning so much because I'm getting faster and faster opens. Well, you're not. If you just continuously pick the same lock over and over and over and over, uh, you're not learning anything. Uh, you're actually doing yourself a huge injustice because the only thing you're doing is learning uh, the motions required to make that specific lock. It's better to have two or three of these things or four or five and then go through them all keyed differently, preferably, um, and go through them that way. Uh, that will just help you listen to the pins and understand what the lock is telling you to do instead of just remembering uh, how to open that one specific lock. So do not make that mistake. You pick one lock, go ahead and move on to another lock, and then to another one, and then to another one. And then you can maybe circle back around, but give it a little bit of time so that way it's not muscle memory working. Um, now, there is upset, uh, exceptions. So you could pick this lock, and then if you kind of thought you learned something or felt something or just wanted to kind of really learn its binding order, then okay, fine, go ahead and go back and pick it uh, a second or third time in a row if you're going after something specific that you're trying to learn. Otherwise, it's just bad habits. Don't do it. Get a, a variety of locks and just go through those locks um, and then circle back around. It's best to not even remember, like don't number this lock or whatever. Um, it's better, better not to even remember this lock or how it acts because... Uh, when I first was practicing a whole lot with 1100s, I would have like 10 or 12 of them and no kidding, they would all be the same color, but I could still tell how one specific lock was and I would remember it uh, based off of like little scratches on the face or on the core. So that's your tip for Tuesdays. Um, don't pick the same lock twice in a picking session. Aloha.